a NASCAR driver who is apologizing for doing something really despicable, not funny, liking a George Floyd meme. Let's tell you more about it, 25 year old NASCAR driver Noah Gregson. Suspended by the Legacy Motor Club and NASCAR last week after being accused of liking an offensive George Floyd meme on Instagram. Now the Instagram post Gregson reportedly liked appears to show Floyd's head on Sebastian the Crab from The Little Mermaid with the caption under the knee per screenshot posted by TMZ. Apparently he and some others thought that was just so funny, just had to like it. Legacy Motor Club said on August 5th, quote, we have made the decision to suspend Noah Gregson effective immediately regarding the actions that do not represent the values of our team. You see the statement there? And they put Josh Berry in his place. Days later, NASCAR backed Legacy Motor Club's decision. The organization decided that Gregson has violated the member conduct section of the 2023 NASCAR rule book and placed him under indefinite suspension. I'd be curious what the 2019 NASCAR rule book said about this kind of thing, but I, it's just me. I'd be curious if anybody has a copy. Gregson has apologized, expressed disappointment in his actions on Twitter. You see it there. Responding to Legacy Motor Club's statement, quote, I love and appreciate everyone. He wrote, I try to treat everyone equally, no matter who they are. I messed up, plain and simple. Gregson is not the only person called out at their job for sharing insensitive Floyd posts. Multiple law enforcement officers nationwide, including Maryland, Washington, California. I've kind of under fire following accusations of spreading the memes. Now he said he tries, Jackson, tries to treat everyone fairly equally. What do you make of the response here? Legacy first makes the indefinite suspension NASCAR, it takes them a couple of days, but they do it. Uh, well, I mean, I think realistically they would have to. I mean, if he's going to be somebody who's on, you know, front facing the organization in some type of way, especially right now with the election going on and you know, kind of the NASCARs, let's say, you know, they have some branding issues when it comes to things like that, especially when it, you know, expanding outside of their core base. So you have to do what you got to do. But uh, I think in terms of his response in his tweet, I think the first line really said it best. You know, he shouldn't have liked the picture. That's all he had to do to avoid this. This is another example of something that was easily avoidable. You know, I mean, you can think what you think. You can go about things the way that you like. But, you know, at the end of the day, you work for this organization and now you're in the position that you're in because you like the picture. Uh, now people are talking about this because you like the picture. You could have used the burner account or you could have just looked at the picture and not liked it at all because much of uh, the online industry revolves around what celebrities of various sorts are liking and posting and you know, so and so unfollowed this person. You may do the most mundane thing on there. So oftentimes people who are in bigger positions, you know, they, they they don't post certain kinds of stuff. You know, like I mentioned before, like I post certain types of stuff now because I'm kind of low key. You can't post a lot of the way that I do because it's too many people looking at you. You know, so that's just kind of how it goes. When you got the whole world looking at you, there's certain stuff that you might not want to do. So this is another example. I don't, I don't feel sorry for the guy at all. No. Um, yeah, how can you? Um, Bubba Wallace is out there um, front and center, Black Lives Matter, NASCAR. Um, how much of this do you think is a business decision? Because it did strike me that 75% of NASCAR fans are still white, okay? It's a very white sport, but it is growing in popularity uh, amongst a diverse group of fans, black fans, other fans, um, upwards of 25% now. Business decision or just trying to do the right thing? No, I mean, definitely a business decision. Um, and two, I think that this won't like, ultimately this wouldn't prevent the sport from growing in that direction. But since they want to continue to grow in that direction, um, you know, it's best for them to have made the move that they did. So uh, I think overall, when it comes to a giant corporation at the end of the day, they're gonna do what's best for their bottom line. Uh, 
uh, even when it comes to a lot of like uh, Pride Month support, stuff like that. You know, a lot of that expansion, sure, it's a good thing. It kind of helps to, you know, you know, make less of a stigma around people being within the gay community in some form or fashion. But at the end of the day, they realize, hey, you know, uh, gay people, queer people, trans people may want to buy our products. So that's really what it was. That's right. Um, and they drink Budweiser too. All right. 